Welcome back, family, friends, and fans. This is Karma Lately. Thank you guys for stopping by. This is part two of the Perosmia tips. Today, I'm going to show you how I prepare my smoothies for sustenance and good health during this terrible experience with Perosmia. I'm going to start by saying that Revive Superfoods is not sponsoring this video, but I have already contacted them to see if we can partner. I've been using these cups since April and I cannot tell you how much these little unassuming cups have saved my life during this time. I get a month's supply that I store in my freezer. The box comes with dry ice and the cups are completely frozen when I receive them. I actually started with eight cups, but because I could not tolerate all of them, these are the last of the Mohicans. So four cups out of eight, I don't think that's too bad. So now I'm going to show you what these cups are made of. This particular cup is called Strawberry Zen. Um, this one has 150 calories. Now remember, each cup is going to have a different amount of calories. This cup has 150 calories, 3 grams of protein, 75 milligrams of potassium, 20 milligrams of calcium, and 7% iron. That's just this cup. Uh, bananas, strawberries, raspberries, zucchini, peaches, pea protein, cranberry powder, flax seeds, and chia seeds. Each cup comes completely sealed. You peel it off and you'll find all the ingredients chopped up and frozen inside. Also wanted to mention that they're completely, the cups are completely recyclable and made of 35% post-consumer fibers, which is pretty cool for the environment. Once you fill your cup with your choice of liquid, in my case it's always oat milk, um, you can then pour everything into your uh, blender, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So here are my lifesavers. Although I cannot have chocolate because uh, chocolate for me is one of my intolerable foods, I think that because it's combined in these cups with so many other wonderful ingredients, uh, I can actually enjoy it. I even think it's my favorite, even though it's really only tolerable. But I think that's because I, in the back of my head, I know that I'm having chocolate, which <laughs> I haven't had chocolate since March, so it's pretty exciting. One thing I discovered in this Perosmia journey is that there's certain ingredients that can help to mask certain distorted foods. So for example, in my case, cheese, freshly ground peppercorns and sugar have been proven to mask certain foods, not all, and help me to be able to tolerate them. So uh, cheese for me masks the weird pasta taste, uh, uh, pasta flavor. Ground peppercorns mask the Cape Cod. The only chips that I can really tolerate right now are the Cape Cod plain chips but I can tolerate them with ground peppercorn, freshly ground peppercorn, uh, peppercorns, which is what I do. I just ground them, I grind them into the bag. And sugar. So sugar uh, found in fruits has helped to mask the ingredients and it's helped me to tolerate these smoothies. So I wouldn't be able to eat a chocolate bar separately, even though it's sweet, I can eat the cacao, the chocolate that's found in these cups because it's mis mixed with enough ingredients that are masking the chocolate distortion, if that makes any sense. So um, anyway, that's why these cups have been so instrumental in keeping me healthy and keeping me satisfied. So another thing that I love about the cups is that they're all so different and they combine a great balance of fruits, veggies, proteins, and superfoods. And I like to also add my own superfoods. The cups already have enough for you, enough food in them for you to sustain yourself for that meal. I use them as a meal replacement just with what they had inside. Um, but with this perosmia disorder, since there's so few foods that we can eat during the day and night, adding more to the cup will make it even more filling, add more calories, and then give you 
peace of mind. That was a big issue for me in the beginning of this disorder. I always thought that I was starving myself. I was worried that I'd end up in a hospital on a feeding tube like other parosmia sufferers. I was starting to get paranoid and I actually didn't lose much weight because I was eating pasta late first of all and I was also eating a lot of sweet stuff because like I said the sugar was able to mask um, the distortion so I was eating a lot of sweet stuff as well either way I found ways to add calories without decreasing the nutritional value um, so my own personal superfood that I love to add to these already amazing cups are delicious dates they're so rich and so decadent um, this company is not sponsoring me either. Um, this video is really about helping you guys to find foods that maybe you haven't thought of yet or that you didn't that you didn't think to mix up with, you know, the foods with the cups or with whatever. So the pitted medjool dates, love them. They are everything for me and they just add a little more sweetness. So be careful if you have issues with your sugar or you're counting calories or you don't like things to be too sweet. In my case, a little more sweetness only helps to mask whatever might be a bit distorted in the cups. So I usually add one to two dates um, per like eight to 10 ounces. And I'll talk about measurements later. So here's another trick. The cups do have protein already added in. However, if you're anything like me with parosmia and have not been able to have meat, poultry, or fish since whenever you started this disorder, that means for me, it's March, that means it's hard to get extra protein in. And so I have chosen this protein. Um, I tried the salted caramel flavor and Tahitian vanilla. The salted caramel is very strong. It's a bit overpowering. Um, and so it's distorted but tolerable. I absolutely love the Tahitian vanilla. And this is not just any protein. This has so many important uh, vitamins and minerals, um, biotin, copper, hyaluronic acid, kale and spinach, peptides from rice, just to name a few. Peace of mind is everything for you right now. So I like to look before I ordered my protein I did a whole lot of research trying to find proteins that didn't just have protein but also added veggies into them and um, other uh, vitamins and minerals um, knowing that like knowing that what I'm putting in my body is healthy it makes me feel empowered it makes me feel excited and hopeful and let's not even talk about having these shakes after a yoga session. <laughs> Unbelievable. So um, that brings me into this segue. Like the best times uh, to have protein. That was one of my concerns as well. I wanted to make sure that I knew when I should have my protein. So they say that there's three best times to have protein as per my research the first one is right when you get up in the morning the second right after a workout and the third right before bed so there's a lot of things that happen when you're sleeping and then when you wake up your your metabolic rate i think changes um, and that's beneficial right before you um right after you work out and in the morning these are all the best times to of the day to drink protein um how many times a day uh, I don't think that my protein is vegan protein and I think I can play around with it a little bit more but you should definitely talk to a nutritionist to your doctor and do your own research to figure out how often you can have protein and I don't always just have it with a shake I also if I do a yoga workout I can also have uh, my protein in a glass of oat milk or even a glass. I've never tried it in a glass of water, but I've heard people do that as well. So just do your research, make sure that you're understanding I am not a healthcare professional. What I am advising is simply based off of my personal experience. And just type in Google, be like, okay, so when is the best time to drink protein? And you'll see all the wonderful reasons why and when. Next up is oats. I cannot cook oats. They taste uh, disgusting. However, eating them raw is perfect. They give me sustenance. I know I'm eating a grain that's good for my heart and my body. 
And the last one, my winner, oat milk. <laughs> um, I use uh, a couple of different brands. This one says vanilla in it, but I have the plain oat milk as well. Any oat milk will do. They taste so delicious. And to me, it's the milk that most resembles cow's milk. My daughters drink it with, um, they have it with their cereal. We have it with our cookies. Uh, it is pretty, it's, it's really amazing. We love it. This is not a food review channel, but um, there's a lot of free marketing going on here today. So I hope companies start calling. Anyways, um, I started by adding about a quarter cup or third cup of oats. Remember, you don't have to add anything. These cups can sustain you. In my case, this cup really acts as two meals for me. So sometimes I pack it up like today. So next I add my two dates, delicious. Then I add one scoop of protein, add milk to the cup. So I like to add the milk to the actual uh, Revive Superfood cup so that I know um, how much I'm working with. And then I add more. Each cup is eight ounces. Mm -hmm. So filling the cup with milk or water is usually not enough for me because I'm adding so many other things. So I add about two to three ounces more of milk. Um, it's usually one scoop of protein per 10 ounces of liquid. So remember the more dry ingredients you add, like me, the more milk or water you need to add so that your smoothie isn't so chunky. You know, the dates are gonna make it chunky. The oats are gonna make it chunky. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that. The more liquid you add, the more protein you should add as well. Um, this batch is going to turn into two separate meals because I, I made it kind of chunky. I also added cashews. So I added about three or four cash, or no, four or five cashews and um, just to add a little more calories to this meal since it's probably gonna be like one of two meals for the day. It looks amazing. It's really balanced because you have one part's fruit, one part's veggies, and then superfoods and protein. So then you blend, 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 and during the time that it's blending, I'm cleaning up or making sure that my cup is clean, my straw is clean. Um, these cups come with a lid, so you can take these cups to go, which I've done many times. I've taken them to doctor's appointments, outings in the summer, short walks in the neighborhood. Um, I also forgot to mention that Revive also gives you this cool metal straw for free with your order. Um, get on your metal straw game because it's so good for the environment but also when you're drinking it keeps your drink icy cold so every sip is super cold and um, yeah I um, I absolutely love it so I hope that this video was helpful and if you have any tips for me or any questions please feel free to ask them in the comments below don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a beautiful day and keep on healing